pods, containers, images, nodes, the vocabulary you need to memorize to understand Kubernetes can feel overwhelming. But don't worry, we're gonna break it all down. Let's pretend we're building an e-commerce store with WordPress, an unfortunately popular application for building websites. And just like any successful dropshipping tech bro, we wanna make sure that our site is never down. But accidents happen, and sometimes the computer that's hosting our little WordPress site fails. Look, maybe the hard drive failed, maybe we have a rodent problem, or maybe mom just isn't sure how to use a disk drive. Kubernetes fixes all of these sorts of problems. It's an orchestrator of applications. It specializes in running copies of the same application across multiple computers. And it makes sure that the hardware across the cluster is being used efficiently. And that brings us to our first potentially confusing term, a node. A node is just a Kubernetes specific word for a computer. It can mean a physical machine like your MacBook or a virtual machine that you might be running on something like AWS. The point is a node is an entire computer with an operating system and all. Now, if I spill my coffee on one node in our cluster, the all seeing eye of Kubernetes makes sure that a copy of our WordPress server is available immediately so that our customer's order of bacon strip bandages can be filled without issue. Now, Kubernetes works with containers, often Docker containers, by running those containers on different nodes in the cluster. So say I tell Kubernetes that I want nine copies of my WordPress store running at all times. Kubernetes will automatically spin up those nine containers and place each within its own pod, another Kubernetes specific term. Now a pod is just a wrapper around a container or sometimes multiple containers, and they're distributed across nodes. They're really the backbone of a Kubernetes deployment. See, Kubernetes is simple. It's just a big magic box that runs on a bunch of nodes so that it can run containers in pods. Well, that and about 10,000 other things, but we can talk about those in another video.